In this demo, we will automate the accounts payable process that usually consists of several steps. Vendor sends invoices via email to the buyer. Buyer downloads invoices from emails, then enters data from the documents to a spreadsheet or enters it directly into the ERP system. The company receives hundreds or even thousands of invoices per day, and this process takes a lot of time and it's error prone. AP specialists that do this work are unhappy because they need to spend hours on manual entry every day. As a result, the company suffers from late or missing payments. So they decided to automate this process with the help of RPA and IDP capabilities. In this demo, we will focus on automation developers and their user experience, and we see two personas here. Marcus is a pro developer who helps business departments with the most complicated automations. Sue is a citizen or business developer who represents the business department. To automate this process, we need to receive emails, download invoices, and send them to the IDP module for extraction. The IDP module will generate CSV files with the extracted data. Some documents will require manual review, so we need to notify users when such documents go to a validation queue. When the CSV is created, we can use that data to create a transaction in SAP. We will start the automation with the business developer, Sue. She has to configure the IDP process and build a notification bot. Then Marcus will create a bot that gets invoices and sends them to the created IDP model. And the last step is to send extracted data to SAP that will be also covered by Marcus. Let's see that in action. First, we need to define what kind of documents we need to process. For the accounts payable use case, it is invoices. The system provides out-of-the-box integration with the Google Document AI service that has a pre-trained model for invoices. Here we can choose fields of interest and add validation rules to check the incoming data. The IDP configuration is finished. These pre-trained models allow Sue to leverage IDP capabilities without spending time on model training. It's a big differentiator for us. Now Sue needs to create a notification on exceptions. For each learning instance, the system auto generates a process flow. This is our rules and decision engine called Process Composer. Auto generation really helps users to start with the basic process and add new steps when necessary. In our case, after the extraction step, if the document goes to a validation queue, we want to notify users about new tasks. So let's add this step to the process and provide the required input parameters. When creating the automation, Sue can use only those packages and actions that are available for her role. For example, she doesn't have access to the SAP package. The process changes have been done in Sue's private repository. To make this process available for other people, she needs to publish the changes. This approach allows users to work together on the same automation, control changes, and follow SDLC practices. Now the flow is ready for Marcus, who is a professional developer. Marcus has created a bot to process the invoices from the incoming vendor emails. Before we dive into the details of the bot, note that there are over 70 packages that are available in the Automation Success platform. These packages provide out-of-the-box integration with diverse business applications such as SAP, Salesforce, ServiceNow, Terminal Emulators, and more. These packages can be directly used by many different personas, such as citizen developers, professional developers, etc., without having any knowledge of underlying APIs. Not all the personas need to see all the packages. COE admins can configure the automation capabilities or packages available to different personas per the needs around security, governance, user friendliness, etc. For example, Marcus, who is a professional developer, can access all the packages, including the SAP package, which was not available to a citizen developer like Sue. 
The fine grain role-based access control on the packages is another key differentiator of our automation success platform. This ensures needs of different personas can be addressed within one unified platform and customers do not have to use different products for different personas, as is the case with some of the other RPA players. Now let's look at the bot Marcus has created. Every time Marcus saves the bot, our automated code analysis kicks in to determine if there are any violations with respect to the defined best practices of the organization. In this case, there are two violations. The first is a low severity violation where a variable is defined but is not used anywhere in the bot. Second is a high severity violation at line number seven. Here Marcus has used a hard-coded file path, which means that when this bot is running on a different user's machine, it may break as the same file path may not exist on that user's machine. Marcus needs to replace the hard-coded file path with a variable. Once Marcus does that and saves the bot, automated code analysis shows that the bot is good to go and that there are no more violations. The Automation Success Platform currently supports 14 unique checks to ensure all of the developed automations are reliable, secure, maintainable, and efficient. We have seen many customers who want to scale their automation initiatives by enabling their citizen developers to start building automations, but they are not confident about the quality or security or reliability or maintainability of automations produced by citizen developers. This is where our native code analysis capabilities accelerate the automation velocity for such customers. Automated code analysis integrated into the bot building experience is another key differentiator of our platform. The last step of the process is creating the extracted invoices data into the SAP system. For this, Marcus has checked out the bot created by Sue and has added steps to read the extracted data from the CSV file and then input it into SAP. Marcus has used our native out-of-the-box SAP package to do that. This is where Marcus establishes the connection with the SAP system and then performs the data entry. Marcus now checks in the bot so that it is available to all the users and the process is ready for production. Finally, let's take a look at the process end to end. As you can see, we have received two invoices from the vendor and we will run the automation. The automation will connect to the email account and download the attachments. Two new documents appear in the folder. We need to send these documents to the system. The bot has finished and there are two new request entries for two documents. Automatically afterwards, the system executes the extraction bot to apply the IDP model and then, if everything is okay, we need to create an SAP transaction. The bot is executing and creating a transaction in SAP. We will send two documents. The bot will download them and send to the IDP module for extraction. The first document goes to SAP automatically. Where is the second document? The first document is completed, but what happened to the second request? Here is the email notification. Let's take a look and open the link. There is a problem with the date. It's from the last year. We can't process this invoice and so we can mark it as invalid. The user doesn't have to perform any manual entry. He just needs to focus on the exceptions. To summarize, we demonstrated that both professional and business developers can collaborate, design, and run powerful automations on the unified A360 platform. With the help of static code analysis, private, public repositories, and role-based access control, Anyone can build an automation with high quality without the risk of breaking business processes. On top of that, the system provides built-in IDP, Process Composer, 
and integration capabilities that open a lot of automation opportunities within the organization.